yeah, methodical, <laughs> pedantic, perfectionist, or some sort of like, oh, you work hard for this. And like, oh, you're so, so good, like hardworking, like those people who really put their heart into something or just act, not really hard, more like just action to towards something that is, uh, I guess, clean, pure, right? That's a virgin, right? The Virgo is the virgin, right? So people, I guess, people who really are attracted to like clean freaks, probably, probably that's a kind of a, a extreme version of that. Now, Mars in Libra, that's, it's in uh, detriment. So it's not, it's in dignity. It's, uh, that means that uh, Libra doesn't, in this, this is where it becomes like similar to Gemini, where it's like indecisive, but even more because Mars in Libra wants to weigh things, right? Wants to kind of harmonize, doesn't like arguing, doesn't like getting angry, but it's kind of, um, does it out of that erosion thing, the retribution sort of thing. It's like, you sure about that? You sure about that? It's not really anger, it's verbal expression. It's communicational sort of like, and so it doesn't come out of the burst of fire. It's more like air sort of like, it's like, it's like you sure like when 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 libra does get angry or Virgo, uh, mars in libra it's not seen as anger it's seen as argumentative more like you sure you sure you sure you sure you sure that the, it can it can happen like, depending on the placement depending on how strong it is of course um especially if it's i guess mars retrograde in libra oh yeah um, highly indecisive in that case. It's like, so they're attracted to also like pleasantries, people who are very friendly, people who are very, but also kind of certain and sure about themselves in terms of very logically people like oriented words like, mm, you take sides kind of thing. You, I mean, you don't take sides rather, sorry. Um, and that's where this Mars comes in. Mars in Libra people kind of might be attracted to like, harmonious relationships uh harmonious you know in this case not really relationships more harmonious people that they just they really just get along with it diplomatic as well who know how to balance things who know how to take charge when it comes to an imbalance in life or just attracted to harmony period like peace and balance and um, all that stuff you know the hippie stuff so <laughs> So apparently something happened to the video I was doing. It was about, I ended up with Mars in Libra. I'm going to go with, go ahead, go ahead with uh, Mars in Scorpio. So Mars in Scorpio is pretty much sort of like it's, it's, what is it? It's a secondary ruler of Mar of Scorpio. So it's technically at home ish <laughs> along with Pluto. Um, and Mars and Scorpio people, I would say, have a very inner sort of um, processing of anger and also initiative. It's more hidden. It's more quiet. It's all about power. It's, it's directed towards. It is. It's about power. It's how, how it, it has to feel intense, of course, right? Because it's Pluto, right? So, and people who have Mars and Scorpio, I've, I've met. So, like one of my old friends well best friend when she would get angry it's it has a very like a sort of like a that singing sort of thing right it's very like it has comes out of resentment vindictiveness i would say libra can turn out like that too but it's a little stronger with um with scorpio because it's more water it's more emotions a lot more it's a deeper sense of anger it's not it's kind of withheld and then all of a sudden kaboom it'll explode, right? Um, think of like a volcanic explosion. I mean, Pluto rules volcanoes. So, um, and so one of the things I noticed about, about the whole thing when it comes to Mars, specifically when it comes to more the darker side of anger, darker side of assertiveness, initiative, and action, is sometimes to wait for it and allow for it and sit with those emotions because it's also anger it's an emotion mars is also an emotion but it's a deeper more body not deeper sorry it's a more body centered or like it's a lower energy it's down here so because it's also sexual 
so we need to learn how to m work with that energy in terms of like how what what is the gift of anger well basically knowing what you want right so that's usually mar mars and scorpio people usually have an idea of what they want specifically when it comes to their sexuality when it comes to those things they're kind of born with that ability although depending on the placement of mars with other planets and of course it's any aspects and in what house it's in and other com planets come like in you know aspected to mars as well it depends to mars now we go into mars and sagittarius which is the one that i have which is prone to accidents because from my observation i sense i have i started to sense a few years back or a few months last year the reason why i get into access is because there's that sort of optimistic side of sagittarius right when you have mars and sagittarius it's almost like action becomes like i'll just put it here and then it'll stand on it's it's like a sort of it's it's trust it's basically belief that it's like okay this will be okay so but what happens is that there's a sometimes can be a lack of awareness of what happens like how you move where you move where you put things how you stand for example those kind of things right um <laughs> actually kind of ties all oh, there's a similarity too with uh um uh pisces because pisces is also well pisces rules well this is medical astrology apparently pisces rules the feet so when it comes to balance i don't know because uh, Neptune apparently rules the nervous system, so but that kind of I don't know I'm digressing when it comes to kind of that kind of stuff. But the point is that uh, <laughs> um, Mars in Sagittarius is for the go sort of like uh, and like it also likes sports. People with Mars placement in Sagittarius also enjoy some sort of activity. They also need to be able to burn that energy to be able to use it. Otherwise, it just sits there and just like, and they feel kind of also anger sort of builds up as well. They kind of carries over from that Scorpio thing, but it's more optimistic. It's more like okay, and also action that's taken by Mars and Sagittarius people is kind of often like uh, okay, I don't want that. They usually look for things that are exciting and also are attracted to people probably in sports, people who are athletic, people who love to be active, adventurous, people who are also uh, people persons, like people who uh, have a very, they, what do you call this? They support the world. Not so much like an Aquarian, in, in an Aquarian way, but more like, you know, an expansive sort of like, to benefit mankind, benevolence basically. Someone who is benevolent, someone who is very giving. It's a, Mars and Sagittarius people, like I know what that feels like, is drawn to that benevolence and a kind of like the kind of the, the, the goody two shoes, so to speak. Not really goody two shoes, more like sort of like that. It can be. Um, so yeah, that's Mars and Sagittarius. Mars and Capricorn, uh, this is where it becomes exalted because now Mars has a focus. Mars is able to now work through its thing like it's the action that's taken is more like more organized it's more set it has more discipline behind it it has more purpose it has more like there's a limit to it and say before you go further let's take a look at this let's take it step by step it's not like taurus where it's like okay it's a little slow it kind of has no you know it's more it, in capricorn it has a direction towards yeah ambition you know, because it's, you know, 10th house stuff as well, right? So ambition, uh, a certain goal in mind, you know, very much like the goal, right? It's a Saturn. It's the goals in mind, end of things. Well, I would say end of things, but yeah, right? It's ruled by Saturn. So um, it depends also on where Saturn would be in your chart. If you have Saturn in another sign that's, you know, it, it colors, it adds flavor to what Mars is. So it's not just Mars and Sagittarius and that's it. So... Or margin, margin Capricorn, sorry for example, right? So if, yeah, it changes it a little bit. Um, now we go into Mars in Aquarius. Mars in Aquarius actually um, is like that crazy sort of like person who's overthinking things, probably overanalyzing, very technical, very intellectual, all up in the head sort of thing. 
and gets mad through uh, I wouldn't say necessarily it's angry but in a different way it's a kind of almost there's a certain vindictiveness as well to Aquarius but not really it's more how do I explain this one it's just eccentricity so anger becomes eccentric anger becomes expressed in a different way just like be angry or not angry I don't get it so it's very out there it's very like right? it's also kind of like that with uh, Mars and Scorpio it was a like very extreme sort of way now when it comes to attraction going back to Capricorn and then to Aquarius attraction is like Mars and Capricorn people are definitely attracted to like the business type of person very serious kind of more like disciplined that kind of person who is in charge probably has a fetish for uniforms um, I would say Mars is also kind of a fetish thing um, and so if you have Mars also then if you have Mars in Aquarius you might have a fetish for things that are weird and like you know because I have moon and moon is also moon is attraction but moon is like magnetism it's a lot I would say it's probably strong much stronger <laughs> that's why it's a luminary much stronger in our psyche in terms of attraction or uh, magnetism than Mars itself and then Mars in Pisces I've met I've met someone who is Mars in Pisces although they have initiative they tend to sway with the emotions quite often it's I learned the word this is where they learned the word vacillating they tend to kind of go because it's the fish right um, emotions go up and down it's almost like the moon but in this case it's about the anger it's about initiative so there's initiative but it's more like tell me what to do initiative <laughs> um, unless it's really interest them particularly with anything to anything to do with spirituality music any sort of escape is any, any Neptunian sort of thing right so it's like mm. so yeah so anyways that's all so I hope I hope you enjoyed that I did enjoy making these videos I do kind of like to must must be my south node thing in Aquarius when I like to kind of share knowledge uh, but more so just have fun with it okay so I hope you guys I hope to see you guys later <laughs> well it's um light out still I'll see you guys later bye